morning. We're here with Louise House um, from House Matters. Louise is a uh, styling consultant and staging for homes, whether you're moving um, or decluttering. So um, Louise is just going to give us a few tips on um, some things that we need to look out for. So how much do colours play in styling a home or a room? Sure, colours are really important. I'm going to focus a little bit on people who are perhaps just living in their house permanently, not getting ready for selling because they're, they're two different issues. Um, but colours, we all react differently to colours and uh, colours are really important in um, the way they affect our emotions. So you need to live with colours that make you feel good. There's no rules about colour, there's uh, no, no wrong and no right, um, but if the colours don't make you feel good in the room, then it's not the right colour for you. Some people like a lot less colour in their life, and that's okay, don't feel guilty if you're a bit of a colour phobe. There's other ways to bring interest into a room um, other than colour. For example, you can have a beautiful neutral palette in your home. Neutrals are very soothing, they're easy to live with, um, and if you're if you like a neutral palette, that's okay. You can bring interest into the room with lots of texture. So you can have cushions on your sofa that have texture in them. You can have a tone-on-tone -tone pattern in the rug without bringing too much colour in. So you can put a little splash of colour in your artwork if you feel you need mostly neutrals but like just that touch of colour. Um, so it's I guess that sort of shows like you go into someone or you see a picture of a house and it's all white and I go, oh, that's a bit stark. So. <laughs> Well, it can feel stark and it can feel a little bit cold if there is no colour. And the trick there is to choose uh, warm neutrals. So if your house is starting to feel a little bit cold because of lack of colour, but you don't really feel a bit scared of colour or you don't want to introduce too much colour, look at the sorts of neutrals you've got. For example, whites that have a blue undertone to them can feel a little bit cold, so you might need to move to whites that have a warmer undertone. Um, but mainly, my, my main tip for um, neutral palettes is to bring in lots of texture. Mm. So, are there any don'ts that you can think of when styling a, a room or a home? Sure. I think one of the um, things that brings a beautiful feel to a home is if there's really good flow through the property and good flow from room to room. So, one thing you don't want to do is block the entry to a room with furniture. So, for example, uh, in the entry into, say, your main living space, try and avoid walking in and looking at the back of the sofa. That will uh, cut the room to two. It will make the room feel smaller, and it kind of interrupts the flow into that room. So, if you think of your own home, if there's any rooms that, on entry, you have to sort of sidestep past a piece of furniture, try and have a rethink of the furniture layout. Um, so that's an important one. Another really good tip, actually. Yeah, yeah. So that creates really good flow. Uh, another one is to not, don't feel the need to necessarily fill every corner with with furniture. Or if you have a blank wall, feel the need to put a piece of furniture against that wall. You don't need to do that. My tip for um, a really nice balanced room is to have one to two focal points in the room and no more. Okay. So a focal point is um, something that draws the eye. So for example, uh, in a living room, a fireplace might be one focal point and some door, French doors to the outside might be a second focal point. So if you keep that to just two, the eye actually has somewhere to rest. And if we have too many focal points in a room, the eye just doesn't know where to go and it doesn't know where to rest and it can feel very busy. Um, for me, um, I feel a bit claustrophobic in a room that has furniture against every wall um, and too much art on the wall. Again, these are personal choices, but the, and I'm just talking general, yeah. general yeah. things here. Yeah, um, so artwork, for example, um, you know, I feel a couple of pieces of artwork per room is usually sufficient uh, to bring in that colour we were talking about before and to create a colour. And I guess with people having busy lives, you don't want to come home and feel busy again as well. No, so. no again, and again, you know, different people react differently. Um, but for me, coming home to a room that's very calm and uncluttered helps me to relax. So money is often an issue, so what are um, some cheeky tips that people can, can use? 
Yes. Well, you know, these days we are so lucky with our homewares and accessories because there are so many suppliers out there that are producing beautiful things for, at very inexpensive um, cost. So don't be afraid to um, visit the budget stores if you have a tight budget and you want to redecorate a room. Um, it's, it's not like the old days you'll be, if you haven't been to budget stores recently, you'll find that um, the range of things available and the um, style is just amazing. So don't be afraid to go for the budget uh, items. That would be my main tip if you're on a tight budget. Visit the budget stores, see what's out there and I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised. Right. And lastly, do you have any specific specific tips related to um, clutter like um, excess furniture and, and I think we've probably covered a little bit of that. We but. have covered a little bit of that but yeah I guess if you're if you are looking at decluttering obviously that is the first step to do and and then really once you've done that process have a look at what you've got left and really have a think about how many storage pieces you need in your home. Um, let's talk uh, to give a specific example um, bedrooms for example if you've got a walk-in wardrobe or a built-in wardrobe, try and use that to store your clothes rather than have multiple additional pieces of freestanding furniture in your room to really just clutter up the space. So my template for bedrooms, uh, if you want to keep a nice open feel, and I'm talking here if you have got some built-in storage, try and stick to the bed and your bedside tables and then allow yourself one other piece of furniture. So that could be a beautiful chair in the corner or it could be if you need it, a box, or a console table or something to that effect. But try and avoid having freestanding furniture on every wall that you have to sort of sidestep to get past to get to your bed to get out of the room. Hence, <laughs> hey, butting toes in the middle of the night if you have to exactly. get up and leave. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly well, right. Well, that's some great advice, Louise, and um, we thank you very much. You're very welcome. welcome. Hopefully, people will not be able to. Um, have a, a more relaxed and peaceful environment to live in.